This is the story of the snow leopard. And it begins. High in the tallest mountains of the world lies the Murgic realm. A place of magic and mystery where pure and powerful be beings called Murgicans dwell. Guardian spirits, they tend their flocks of mountain sheep and ibex and care for the sacred land. People enter the Murgic realm only with their permission. And they take the shape of an animal and this is the story of one such Murgican. From the beginning of time, out of silence, Snow Leopard sang the stars to life, the sun to rise and the moon to wax and wane. High above the hidden valley, her song clothed the world in white and built a crackling fortress of ice and snow to keep all things safe and secret. High in the mountains, the sacred cat walked alone, cloaked in her shadow dappled fur. Crisp snow sparkled at the icy stars beneath her huge paws, and all the while she sang. And down in the valley, the child slept, and in her dreams she heard the ghost cat's secret music, and saw the shadow of her dappled coat. Snow Leopard wove words of protection, songs of hiding, a magic spell to keep the hidden valley safe from the world. But time was passing, season upon season, and age creeps over all in time. So Snow Leopard changed her song to a spell of finding. She searched in her heart and called to find the next singer, the one who would come after her. And down in the valley... The child slept on and felt the changes in the snow leopard's song. And down in the valley, soldiers came in search of gold and slaves. They came with fire and fear, and the villagers fled. And in the chaos, the sleeping girl was forgotten, and, tr and still she slept, entranced, hearing only the song of the great ghost cat. Through the village, Snow Leopard prowled, veiled in the magic of her song, and when she found the sleeping child, she wrapped her warmly in her thick, dappled fur. Curled around the child, the Snow Leopard remembered centuries before being human. The sleeping child woke feeling the warm breath of the spirit cat close on her skin. And wrapped in the fur of the snow leopard, the singing cat of her dreams, she pushed her fingers deep into the thick fur and the cat stirred, rose and leapt up to the high, wild mountains with the child clinging tight on her back. Together... And they roamed the mountain tops, and together they walked through the forests, and the snow leopard sang her songs of the earth. She taught the child songs of the valley, of the lark and the swift, the snow finch and red start. She showed her the paths where the sure footed fox of the sure footed fox and the scrape where the hare hid hushed in the snow. She sang a song to protect the valley, to call the snow and ice, and the child's voice joined in harmony as she listened and learned, and they circled the valley singing their songs together. Late in the night, while the soldiers were sleeping, the stealthy cat crept back to the village and into their dreams. As their dreams became nightmares, the soldiers woke and they ran from the village they thought haunted by demons. Hearing the news that the soldiers had gone, the villagers returned with their prayer flags and lullabies to blow in the wind and bring peace to the valley. 
Encircling the valley, the child and the leopard called to the snow and a blizzard of white formed fresh fortress walls, hiding their world in mist and in memory. Then time passed and the child learned the moods of the valley, how to still her mind and become one with the place, how to ride on the thermals with the eagle and falcon, to watch for the moon bear, the barrel and wolf. Snow Leopard purred richly at these changes. Her teaching finished. Her time changed too. Late one evening in a cave of soft mosses high in the mountains, where the air was thin and stars sparkled in sky and snow, the child took the great leopard's head in her hands. The snow leopard licked the child's cold face, rough cat tongue against soft skin, purring her final spirit song, and as she licked, the child became a leopard, thick-furred and wild-eyed, mottled like shadows, spirit cat. As the old leopard finished her song, she leapt from the mountain into the star-filled sky, her dapple coat blending with the stars of the Milky Way, and her song changed to a whisper of starlight. And back in the mountains, the young snow leopard looked up at the stars mirrored in her blue cat's eyes, heard the whisper, and she began a new song. <laughs>